Hey, what's up everybody? Mark Collier here. I just wanted to take a few minutes to show you how I've been making these cutout Bible verses that I've been making. Uh, they're really pretty easy to make, but hopefully I can give you a few tips that might make it easier for you to make your own. I'm using Illustrator. I'm not really familiar with Inkscape, but hopefully some, if not all, of what I'm doing will translate over pretty well. So here's all I do. First thing I do is I make a workspace that's 12 by 20, which is the size of the uh, Glowforge bed. And then sometimes I'll put in some guidelines here, maybe a half inch to an inch margin, just to help me stay within the bounds of what I'm trying to make. Those aren't really very critical, but I do those just to help myself out. And then I'll take a, uh, a text box and make it whatever size I'm trying to make. So in this case, I'll make one that's about maybe eight by 10. And then I will paste in the Bible verse or whatever it is that I'm using. Uh, so for starters, it'll just be just like this. And then I'm going to go in there and I'm going to take out all of the odd spacing or anything that's in there from what I, where I posted it from or where I pasted it from and kind of get it like that. And then next thing I'll do is I'll, I'll select everything and then I'll go and find a nice big chunky font. I feel like making these with big uh, thick fonts makes life easier because as you probably can imagine, all of the letters need to touch each other uh, to give it support and so that pieces don't fall out. So making something with a big thick font helps out a lot. So you can pick whatever font works for you. There's one that I've been using a lot for most of these called Coco Goose, which I've never said out loud in my life until just now. And it sounds really hilarious, uh, but that's the one I've been using and I'll get lazy and I'll just uh, use this to turn it all to caps. And then the next thing I'm gonna start doing is figuring out how I want to split up these words to make it have emphasis and to look the way I want it. So for ha perhaps on this one, I might uh, want the word trust to be on a line by itself or trust in the Lord maybe to, to be on a line by itself. So I'm gonna go in here and just kind of uh, hit enter at some different spaces to see maybe how I want this to space out. So maybe for, for those, but those who trust in the Lord will find, let's try this, new strength. I might do something like this. They will soar high on wings like eagles maybe i'll do this and perhaps this and of course you might actually end up changing this as you go it depends uh, and then i might do this so maybe that's the way i'm going to break that up and then the next thing i'm going to do is select everything and i'm going to make it initially all the same size but we'll see how this ends up working so i will make this all like this until one of the lines splits, like the word who bump to the next line and go back one, like this. And then, next thing I'm gonna do is maybe select it all again, and I'm gonna work with the spacing between the characters, because everything's gonna need to touch at some level. So I'm gonna use this and just kind of reduce the spacing until some of the uh, letters start touching each other. And of course, each font's gonna be different on how this works out. Uh, so I might stop there for starters, okay? So you see all these letters are touching each other. And then I'm gonna select the first line. I'm gonna make it bigger again until it splits. And I'm gonna go back one. So I've got that one there. And I'm gonna go to line number two, and I'm gonna go ahead and make this nice and big until it splits. And I'll go back one. So there we go, so I'll go back a couple, All right? There you go. And then now I'm gonna select those two lines and I'm gonna work on the line spacing to get those closer together. So for example, okay, obviously that was ridiculous. <laughs> so we're gonna just go here until I get to where they're just touching each other uh, from one line to the next. So something like perhaps this, like that. And then you'll be able to see how this goes pretty easily now. Um, I'm going to make that just a little smaller until it gets to one line, like that. And then I'll go and again work on the line spacing there until this one gets up and touches the one above it, like that. And you'll see that I'll just work through it like that. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward the rest of this until I get it done, and I'll come back and start talking to you here in a minute.
Okay, so I'm obviously not done yet, but you get the idea here. Um, as you will experience also when you work through this, sometimes you won't really like the way that it spaces out. Like now that I'm looking at this, I think I'd like to have the word strength really large on its own line. And uh, there's just too many lines that are really small, uh, so there's not a lot of great emphasis here. But you get the idea. The next couple of things I would end up doing is I would have to pull in these periods here to either touch something above or below or beside it so they don't fall out. And then I would also then create probably a box at the bottom and then put the uh, scripture reference in it that I can engrave um, at the bottom there as well. And then before you go to cutting it, you're going to want to look at every single letter to make sure that everything's touching so that there won't be anything that falls out because I've had that happen before. Um, like, for example, this letter L right here, um, right here is barely touching. It's touching some things, but I might want to just firm that up a little bit by working with some character spacing or whatever. Um, the letter I sometimes is trouble, like this one's okay. But you just want to walk through every single letter and make sure everything's touching enough so that it has some, um, so it's solid so it doesn't fall out. Now this one's weird. Uh, this period makes this look like a lowercase t or a cross, but that works out okay. Um, so that's a bit right. And then this period here will have to be worked on a little bit. Uh, but then once you get done with all that, then in Illustrator, what you're going to want to do then is go and uh, right click and you can create outlines because that's what you need to do uh, for the laser to cut it. And then you also then want to go to Pathfinder. You see how all these items here are overlapping each other. You want to go ahead and click this one right here. And then it will make it all one shape. Now, Wisdom tells you that before you do that, I'm going to actually back up one. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to duplicate this layer uh, so that if I make a mistake, uh, I can edit it later. So I'm going to call this um, Flattened. And I'm going to call this editable or something like that, if I can spell something like that. And then that way, when I flatten this one, um, I'll still be able to uh, to edit everything. So make sure that you do that because you will thank yourself later. And then all you do is save this as an SVG and you are ready to go to the Glowforge. I hope that helps.